So you want to be saved? Well, Jesus is the way to eternity with the Father in heaven. And this makes a point in John 14, 6. It says, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. So Jesus is the way to eternal life and is the way to salvation. And basically being saved is all about faith. Another good verse is John 3.16, where it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. There is your answer right there. It's all about faith. You have to believe that Jesus died on that cross and God rose him from the dead, that Jesus lives to this day. He's not dead. He is alive in us and in the Holy Spirit. And once you believe that, then you receive the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit guides you and helps you stay away from sin and not fall into that temptation of sinning. And the Holy Spirit can heal you from your trauma, from your past, from any struggles or problems that you have. God brought Jesus to this earth to save us from ourselves and save us from the devil and to be the ultimate sacrifice for our sin. So in the Old Testament, God said that people had to sacrifice something and give a sacrifice to him to remove their sin or remove whatever they did wrong. And Jesus is our ultimate sacrifice, so we don't have to do these sacrifices anymore. He is the ultimate sacrifice, so we are saved. And we have to have faith that God rose him from the dead, that he defeated the devil and we are saved by grace through faith. And a Bible verse that shows this is Ephesians 2, 8 through 10. For by grace are we saved through faith, and it's not of ourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before prepared that we should walk in them. So it is grace that we are saved. It is not by our own works. And God created Jesus to be perfect. His works are the reason that we are saved. And this is why we should walk with Jesus because he has never sinned. He is perfect. But to be saved, you have to give your life to God. You have to turn away from the worldly desires and really turn to his plan because he has a plan for you and you need to start relying on God, knowing that he can protect you, he can provide for you, he has the plan, and it's not going to be perfect at first. Romans 10 9 says confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that Jesus died and God rose him from the dead. And once you've done that you can also ask the Father to receive the Holy Spirit and he will gladly give him to you. Now let me remind you that change comes with time so everything isn't going to change right away. You have to rely on the Father with everything. Just have conversations with him. Prayer is literally just having a conversation with God. Start there and then maybe start reading the Bible and then try to do it even when you don't feel motivated because eventually you're going to want to read the Bible. You're going to want to have conversations with the Father because he will adopt you as your child and you will start wanting to talk with him because he is your father and he is, will always be there for you and always get you through that wilderness and get you through that darkness. So the most important thing about how to be saved is just accept and have faith and be willing to change because you're going to have to change your old ways, change your sinful life. That's why people say crucify the flesh and pick up your cross because you have to get rid of your old ways. Don't listen to your flesh's desires like sinning because the flesh just wants to sin and go with the world and you need to go against the current of the world and be willing to change for God and follow his ways and the last thing is watch God help you grow and start to build a relationship with him because once you do that everything will start making sense everything will unfold one more important verse is Matthew six fourteen through 15 which is telling you to forgive others 
so the Father can forgive you because we are all not perfect. We don't even deserve to go to heaven, but through Jesus is how we are saved and how we are able to go to heaven. And you have to be willing to forgive others of what they have done. Forgive yourself of all the bad things that you've done and really repent and turn away from sin to the Father and He will forgive you back and forget about what you've done because you are created into a new person. Today, if you repent of your sins, turn away from sin, and really put your faith in Jesus, then you are made a new person. And the Father sees you as this new person. So now you can walk with Jesus. Walk by faith and not by sight. And really rely on the Father. And don't wait until tomorrow. Don't wait until next week. Right now is the time. God is telling you, you can be saved today. And he loves you so much. And he wants you to be this light in the world full of darkness. Your Heavenly Father loves you so much and He's calling you right now to turn away from the world and come back to your Father. There is so much more you can learn, so much more the Father can tell you. I just pray that you'll accept this message today and become a new person through Jesus. And I just pray you have a great rest of your day. And thanks for watching. Bye!